show them the uh, <laughs> yep. all the boxes of so, records. I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys, uh, you know, basically what's in my collection a little bit. I'm just gonna grab a handful of records, and whatever's on top. I'm gonna show it to you and say something about it or and tell you what it is and put it away. My collection was alphabetized, just straight alphabetized before I put it in the moving boxes before the move. And the boxes are numbered, so I know what order I'm gonna go in. But other than that, I have no idea what's gonna come up. So this could be really interesting or really not. Okay, box number one, Affinity. I love this record. British rock band. Only made the one album, 1969, 70, I think. Amazing female lead singer, the organist is incredible. There's like a 10 minute version of All Along the Watchtower on this album. Look at that cover, isn't this gorgeous? It folds out too, and that terrific cover. John Paul Jones, the bass player for Led Zeppelin, arranged the horns and strings on this album. Go Sweet. Bigger. Great album. Top Billin, Audio 2, 1987 classic hip hop track. The greatest whack rap of all time. The rhymes in this are just ridiculous, but you're just not a hip hop fan if you don't know every single word of Top Billin. The beat is iconic. They were trying to, uh, they, they sampled Impeach the President and they tried to trigger the loop by pressing the button, but they kept making a mistake and they decided to keep it. So this beat became what it is. Real Love by Mary J. Blige. They got that beat from huh. Top Billing. Average White Band. This is their first album, Show Your Hand. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, it's a very silly cover, <laughs> but the greatest Scottish funk band of all time, no question. This is their first album and a really good one too. The Jugglers, great track. TLC, funky as hell cut. Yeah, one of my favorite bands and their first album. And by the way, it's not a good idea usually to put records and shells from the top down because it'll tip over eventually, but these, these are diesel enough. They're not going people. anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, right. Seriously. All right, we're in the James Brown section. Hot Pants. Escapism, parts one and two. Hot Pants. Really good funky album all the way through. Ah, her name is Lynn Christopher. Uh, she's a very pretty girl with a very pretty voice. She made a very bad album. And it's got one killer cut on it called Take Me With You. You crate diggers know, know this one. You know what I'm talking about. Gorgeous album. I love Don Coltrane's ballads. The first song, uh, say it over and over again, from just from note one, just you're in bliss. Coltrane was a man. Self Portrait by Ruth Copeland, another very pretty singer who made a very bad album. To tell you about that, I gotta tell you about this one. Here's her good album, I Am What I Am. This cover folds out very nicely. With a close up of her navel. For some reason. Oh, this nice. album's really good. This is 1971, two, something like that. And the backup band is Funkadelic. Ah, uh, we're in the Miles Davis section now. This is my favorite Miles album, Agarta. Noise, funk, rock, jazz, fusion, gumbo, I guess. It's live and it's crazy. It's just like nothing else you've ever heard. This is the only album I own three copies of. This is an original Japanese copy. This is an original American copy. We're gonna put this down. is a white label promo American copy. Wow. I love this record. I used to listen to this nonstop. And side one has my favorite guitar solo of all time. Pete Cozy, he was the man. This is the 70s Miles section. Big fun. On the corner, I love this album. Yeah, big 70s Miles fan, if you can't tell. Digital Underground, Kiss You Back. I think this was their second biggest hit behind, of course, you know what I'm about to say. The Humpty Dance. Big Digital Underground fan back in the day, too. Okay, I grabbed a handful, and it was a blank white cover. So I gotta open this up and see what it is. Ah, Earth, Wind & Fire, Getaway. Top five all-time favorite song. Easily. I gotta put it at the end of a mixtape because everything after it sounds weak. Fab Five Freddy, Change the Beat. French rap song, 82. Oh, it's autographed. I, I met him back in 2006, apparently, and I had him autograph it. <sighs> Fat Larry's Band, Act Like You Know. I love this track, but it jacked the bass line from uh, the Whatnots 
Help is on the way. Psychedelic Soul by the Freak Scene. Now, this is not a soul record. This is a very fucked up uh, psych record. A bunch of hippies from 67, 68. Ah, Cosmic Slop. We're now in the Funkadelic section. This is like middle period, middle 70s Funkadelic, where they were still a little bit fucked up on acid, less so than in the early 70s. Love this album. Rappin' and Rockin' the House by The Funky Four Plus One More, one of the first rap records to come out. I think I have this autographed. Yes! My dude Rodney C. from The Funky Four autographed this for me when I met him at, uh, in 07. Hard Stuff. Just a British rock band called Hard Stuff. Bolex Dementia. I don't know what that means, but this album is awesome. Early 70s hard rock and one of my favorites. This is their, this is their other album, Bulletproof. It's almost as good, but this is the, this is the one. Eddie Hazel's solo album, Games, Dames, and Guitar Things. Uh, P-Funk's legendary guitar player. I think this was after he left the, the P-Funk stable and went on his own and did this awesome solo album. Okay, and now we're in the Isley Brothers section. I used to have to have Isley Brothers every day, like vitamins. I just needed my Isley Brothers. Go For Your Guns, uh, favorite cut on this, Voyage to Atlantis. Or maybe it's Footsteps in the Dark. Or maybe it's the whole damn album, doesn't matter. Bob James number two, another CTI classic, another uh, breakbeat classic, another jazz funk classic, and I think this one's a white label promo, but I'm not gonna tear it open to be sure. The Larson Feeton Band. If you're a big fan of yacht rock, jazzy pop, fusion rock, West Coast type of stuff. It's got a top 40 hit on it, the Who Will Be the Fool Tonight, which kind of sounds like Boss Gags. Lothar and the Hand People. I gotta see this up close. Another very whacked out, very psychedelic rock band. I don't know which one, but one of the guys played a theremin. A theremin named Lothar. He was Lothar and they were the hand people. If you know how a theremin works and makes sound. Adam Makowitz, Polish jazz artist, 1970. Acoustic piano and he played Fender Rhodes with a ring modulator and some of it's pretty straight ahead and some of it's really noisy and weird. Oh boy. Rock and other four letter words by J. Marks and Shippen Lebzelter. <laughs> Psychedelic, hippie, sound collage, social commentary, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll just put this away. Maxine, bailout for fun. Ooh. Maxine Lewis. She was a backup singer, then she formed her own band. This album sounds a lot like There's a Riot Going On era. Sly Stone. Yeah, it sounds a lot like Sly Stone, 74. Pretty good album. Moon Rappin'. Uh, Brother Jack McDuff was a B3 organ player. Like, like all of them, they started out playing jazz in the 50s and 60s, and then when funk came around in the 70s, they started doing funky stuff. This is, uh, this is one of the funkier ones uh, on Blue Notes. Yeah. What we got? Mutiny. Jerome Braley uh, either quit or got fired from uh, P-Funk and started his own band, Mutiny. The track is Lump. Oh, Ninth Creation. Falling in Love. Mediocre funk band, Ninth Creation. They're, uh, this is their only album. Uh, no, it wasn't their only album. Um, but this is the only album you need to own. Shimmy Shimmy Ya, an old dirty bastard. There was only one of that guy. <laughs> of course. Overy Lodge, British avant-garde jazz guys early 70s keith tippett is the piano player oh we're in the parliament section mothership connection and i think it's I think this one's got the poster let me see no this one doesn't have a poster this one has the poster that is the villainous Ooh. sir nose devoid of funk nice pristine copy of the comic book That's pretty cool. When your album comes with a comic book, I'm in. Victim of the Joke by David Porter. It's got one of these type of uh, oh, cool. pull-out covers like this. Copies you find of this album always have this torn off, so at least I got that going for it. And this is a white label promo. It's a decent soul record. It's been sampled a bunch of times. Ah, <laughs> my girl. Patrice Russian. Yeah. This is their, uh, her commercial breakthrough, it's straight from the Hard album. And she autographed it to me, because this, this album is one of my favorites. Forget Me Nots, it does remind me, great album. Pharaoh Saunders, 
the Karma album, Spiritual Jazz, as, uh, as they used to call it back then, or call it now. This one has uh, the sidelong song, The Creator Has a Master Plan. Tom Scott, <laughs> The Honeysuckle Breeze. Tom Scott was a uh, the, the biggest uh, session sax player, and this was one of his first ones, and this is very in demand for uh, various, various well-known samples. <sighs> Sincerely Antique. Uh, if you like Santana, like old Santana, he inspired a lot of Latin rock guitar B3 organ type bands. I know absolutely nothing about this band. As far as I know, they only put out this one album, 1973, but Latin rock in the Santana style. Lots of guitar, lots of uh, timbales. Ah, uh, we're now in the SOS band section. They're probably best known for Baby, We Can Do It, Take Your Time, Do It Right, but they, they did their best stuff after that. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis started producing for them. But this one is, uh, Even When You Sleep, Borrowed Love. Oh, that's a good one. See the band, this is not the Aja album, this is the Deacon Blues 12-inch single. I mean, the Aja album, of course, all-time classic, but I've never seen this Deacon Blues 12-inch single before, or don't know what anyone would do with it. Oh man, this guy's a poet. His name is Dick Summer. This is a recording of him reading uh, much of his poetry. The first time I heard this, I just laughed and laughed. I think my favorite line from this, if I recall, is he's, he's watching his lover cut an onion and, and be very sad that she is crying because this onion is making her cry. So he swoops in and slices the onion for her and at that moment i'm not kidding he says at that moment i feel like king arthur cutting off the ear of the onion dragon <laughs> that was when i decided i need to own this elias tannenbaum arp art recorded a bunch of abstract compositions on the arp synthesizer toto yes uh second album hydra if you've hung around me for any length of time, you know how much I love the band Toto. This is a picture, picture disc of the first album that they all autographed for me. They had a big top 10 hit with Hold the Line, and this album was, you know, burning up the radio, and then they decided to do a concept album about knights and swords and dragons, which, of course, were all the rage in 1979. If you ask me what my favorite album is, depending on the day you catch me, this will be a very likely answer of mine. The Low End Theory, Tribe Called Quest. Tupac, I get around. Guess we're in the Tupac section now. Okay, Roxanne, Roxanne, UTFO. They're, they're just dissing this girl named Roxanne. Some girl called herself Roxanne and started putting out her own records in response to UTFO, cutting them down, and then a bunch of imposter Roxanne records. Started popping up immediately a year after that. Ah, Miroslav Vitus, Weather Report's first bass player. Another funky jazz record from 1976. Herbie Hancock's on this, Jack Dejanet, James Gadson, Ayrto is on this. Yeah, some heavy hitters. Great funky jazz album with a couple of like disco cuts, believe it or not. Speaking of Weather Report, Weather Report, live in Tokyo, double album. Only came out in Japan originally. And I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's even available in the States today or not. Seven Minutes of Funk by the Whole Darn Family. The 12 inch single to a much sampled old funk cut, you might know. Yellow Sunshine, another one of those obscure Ooh. one album funk bands I love so much. Oh, if you like the front cover, you'll love the back. That looks one. like something I like. Nice. It takes a funky bunch of dudes to dress like that and still look loose. Yeah, seriously. Yellow Sunshine, great, great funk band uh, with some rock edge to it. Uh, the title cut, Yellow Sunshine, their, their classic cut. Dexter Wanzel was the arranger and producer of this. A compilation of electronic music from the University of Illinois. I used to be a big fan of 60s, late 50s to 60s electronic music made by people with really primitive equipment. And I got a lot of like independent compilations of that kind of stuff. This is all weird blips and bleeps from people with early Moogs and ARPs and machines. Okay, now we're in the soundtracks. We've reached the end of the alphabet, and now we're into the compilations and soundtracks. This is the Hell Up in Harlem soundtrack by Edwin Starr. Black exploitation movie, and well, after Shaft and Superfly, they all had to have music done for them. Aha! 
the Troll soundtrack. Now, most people know the second movie, Troll 2, as, one, as you know, the best worst movie of all time. It's not even close. This is the first movie, cheap 80s fantasy horror. This soundtrack has an amazing cut on it, Cantos Profane. Of did course, you play that for me before? Of course I did. And it freaked me out. Yes, it did. All right, last box. So this is uh, miscellaneous stuff in the alphabet. We got the Trouble Man soundtrack, Marvin Gaye. The Wild Style soundtrack, legendary early, uh, early hip hop uh, document. Here we're getting into my library records. Now I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of library records, but I got a handful. This is on the Omni Music label. And it's an American label from the 80s, but every single cut's got something to sample. Tension, Omni Music 127. Some random Spanish records and Mexican records and South American records. But I, didn't, I don't even know who most of these people are. That's it. Look at that. We got, we got room left over. Nice. All right. My records are pretty much put away. Woohoo! Yay. Thanks, folks. Have you ever heard of James? That cat with ten gold fingers who had Russia sending him love? Girls crawling at his feet.